This is the future. Digital extremes did change how damage attenuation works in the Arjun hunts. The main goal was to increase the maximum damage per damage instance, and also increase the overall maximum damage per second. At first, I thought this will just buff those weapons that are not good against Archon hunts, and they will leave the weapons that are superb in the game mode. Eventually, I'm wrong again as there's a second path to the changes, and the developer stated that modifiers now apply before damage attenuation critical multipliers, and other modifiers, applying post damage cap allowed for many of the one shot builds to function, and for full transparency, the developer want to prevent one shot action builds as much as possible, by changing where these modifiers apply, they can increase the damage caps to a much less punishing level for players, this will somehow increase player damage output, thereby reducing the overall time to kill for archons, make big hits feel impactful by no longer throttling them to such an extreme degree, encourage overall build diversity for archon hunts, and reduce the ability to use of one-shot builds. To make this story short, Digital Extremes just nerf Kuverheg and it's now just an ordinary weapon for archon hunts. No more one-shot builds for archon hunts, and no more speed runs. In fact, the number of weapons that are great right now for archon hunts have increased, ranging from primary, to secondary, to even melee weapons. In addition to this, with the help of the new shield and shield gating rework, it seems like Chroma has resurfaced and becomes better in archon hunts right now. I'm having issues solo hunting archons before with Chroma because of some survivability problems when the boss starts to throw some random bullshit. But right now, it seems that Chroma is the perfect Archon Hunter when it comes to both survivability and huge damage output. Like I have said, Kuverheck is now a normal weapon for Archon Hunts, and you can use a lot of setup right now to enjoy the game mode. First of all, Fenma is great right now in Archon Hunts. The incarnate form of Fenma will shred the Archon's health easily but honestly, this is not the best weapon right now and if I'm ranking this over the other weapons I will be showing here, then probably, this will be at the bottom. You can actually use melee weapons right now for Archon's hunts. Set up just like a wrathful advanced Chroma wielding a Glaive Prime, or even the freaking Exodia Contagion setup. This melee setup allows you to nuke the health of Archon's easily with a wrathful advanced Chroma, and you can also kill the sentients trash mobs, and even the deacons which are present in this mission while using these melee weapons. The Felux is also better right now, and I think it's good to use this incarnate gun over the Fenma. But if there's a gun I highly recommend for the Archon hunt right now. That is the trusty Letum. This secondary is still the best right now, and overall, it's the best weapon for Archon hunting. The setup I have for this has radiation only on the incarnate form. I modded this with heat and corrosive to somehow get the proc from Cascadia Flare while it's dishing out some heat damage to Archons. While it's not the most effective mod setup, still, it can melt the Archon easily. I think Letum is the best right now since you can also kill other annoying enemies in the Archon hunt. Deacons just melt, trash mobs also melt, and even Sentience has no match of the Devouring Attrition build for Letum. Speaking of builds, you will see all the builds I have used in this video after the break. Before you go, I would like to know what is the weapon you are using right now in Arjun hunting. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off. future human error